Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, we are not going to look at our past successes, we are going to look forward. Yeah, this this yard here, this garden, this quadrant, it's okay, but look, look at how much there is to do. Now, I've been trying to make each quadrant a little bit slightly distinct from the others. Now, if we come over and we start with this one, let's say that this is quadrant one. We've got kind of some more shrubs and mycelium, but not really any podzol. This one here, we start mixing in the podzol, but we have the shrubs kind of fade out as we go this way. We also have this distinctive path leading around here, you know. That gives this kind of area a distinctive, memorable feel that, you know, when you come through here, you think about, we've got the high flowers, we got the stable, we've got Ren the dog joining the game. Howdy, Ren! Love playing on a server with my friends. It is so fun. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? So, yeah, this, this area, we've got, you know, chapel windows, we've got stable, we've got flowers. So the question is kind of, what are we going to do with these two areas to make them distinctive? Now, this area here is actually intended to be a garden. So I think what we're going to do with this area is actually explicitly remove all of the flowers and replace them with, like, dead branches, which means we're going to have to go on a trip to the desert. Now, this area here on this side is actually the most boring area in basically the entire map. Like, the characters probably wouldn't come over here unless they had some sort of really good reason. But basically, almost anything that you could do, I guess maybe if you climbed down from that tower, you might end up in this area. But otherwise, this is basically a relatively featureless part of the map. This is not a place the players would normally hang out in normal gameplay. And so, in order to kind of encourage them to experience the areas with more features, we want to make sure that this area, when you kind of look through the iron bars here, doesn't really seem as visually interesting as if they went around the side and looked through the other iron bars. Now, of course, we do currently feature that skeleton horse, which we need to move inside, but you know what? That's something we can take care of on our own time. Let's see. I say our own time. This is our own time. Oh, man. Hope you guys are having a good time with our shared time. I don't know why this kind of rhymes. But yeah, like if you're looking through these iron bars, you're like, that looks like an area with stuff to do. If you're going to choose one set of iron bars to break, it should really be this one. Because this one has so many access points to the castle and interesting things going on. We want players to be naturally, we want their curiosity to draw them this way. We don't want to railroad them, saying, like, go over here, it's way cooler. We want the cooler, more featureful areas to just naturally draw their eye and attention. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go gather a bunch of dead branches, and I'm thinking some coarse dirt for this dead garden, and maybe some gravel. And then we are also going to come back and work on both of these areas. So, I guess to get to the desert, we really... How do you even get to the desert in Minecraft? I think if we want to get a bunch of dead branches and stuff, we're just going to have to go through one of these portals and head over to Azuma's. Luckily, I got plenty of inventory space. And I hope shears... Yeah, I got shears. I got shears for years. Cheers. Bye, Red Sky Bay. From the sky the moon has fallen, striking the sea as the desert before me suddenly comes aglow. And so that's why I say, howdy mobs, it's me, Joe. I'm just here with a couple of shears to grab- oh, I looked at the Enderman. Maybe I didn't. Okay, good, I don't think I did. Okay, so we just need to grab some of these branches that are kind of scattered throughout here. Like that one, or that one. You know, this is not a hard thing to do in Minecraft. That spider should ignore me because it's daytime now. How is that skeleton not dead from the flames of the sun? You have been kissed by the sun, and its terrible flaming lips should have... <gasps> That's where flaming lips comes from! There's a band called the Flaming Lips, and it comes from being sun-kissed. I just figured that out now, and I'm like 30 years old. Oh, man. Okay, so that is one less thing to do today. We have discovered the logic behind the name of the band, The Flaming Lips. And we have gathered a couple of these things. We have been exploded at. We have run away. And uh, I think there's some more islands over here where we can gather some sand. 
Dang it. Islands, where are you hiding? It's fairly obvious that most of these islands have been sufficiently clear-cut that there would be few dead branches left for us to gather. Look at this. This is, this is not branch land. This is sand land. Quarry. I don't know. Man, we have done a lot of sand use on this server. Okay, this is all sandstone up here. So diff Ah, oh, I see a branch. To the menu. Boom. Okay, great. We are at eight branches. I guess I can't just use, like, bone meal or something on the sand to get more dead bushes. That would be super de duper de convenient. But unfortunately does not seem to be a viable choice at the moment. Oh, that is not how we jump off things. I mean, that is how we fall from things. Oh, man. Look. But we've come to a land of branches. This is this is just the place for us. Everything we could ever need is here. My heart is full, and I'm joyful, and I'm excited. You know, it's like, that's, oh, and there's a little village. I had no idea there was a village out here. Man, this is the thing about Minecraft. It's like you can get so busy working on your base, it, you just don't explore stuff. Like, what is that over there? There's something on that wall. Is that... Some sort of, oh, that's the pink stone, okay. But, like, this whole structure here just looks so cool. And it's about to be night time. So we have two options. One, we can try to shelter in this village. Two, we can see if this village has some sort of escape route into the nether. Because it's entirely possible another hermit already, like, stole all the villagers out of there. In which case, we can use their escape route through the nether. Now, sometimes when we go into the nether, things go a little sideways. You know, but that's okay, because nether means middle in in Norwegian or Swedish, whichever one is the one that Notch is from when they made Minecraft. So, anyway, my inventory is nearly as full as my heart, except with dead bushes instead of joy. If my heart was full of dead bushes, I would probably need some sort of immediate surgery, just saying. Um, but yeah, so we've got this whole little village here. Is that a... Is that a zombie or something? That looks like a zombie. Yeah, uh... Okay, let's see if we... Yeah, there is definitely a portal out. Let's let's go ahead and get out of here and hopefully find our way home. Hopefully. Okay, good. We seem to have found ourselves in a tunnel. Now, this tunnel has seemingly only one way to go. So the nice thing about that is it'll be hard for us to screw this up. We're just going to continue down this tunnel indefinitely, and then hopefully it won't just, like, open up into a huge open area where a million things could go wrong. Like that, see? We're not going out there. That's that's a bad place. This is the good place. We're going to stay in this part of the tunnel. Man, I always hate how dark the nether is. Let's go ahead. Video settings brightness. Maximum. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is where we get into trouble. I'm going to assume, though, that going here... Is oh, wait, did I mine out? I might have mined out this at some point. In which case, I definitely... Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, we definitely want to go this way. Now, you might say, Joe, how do you know that? I honestly have no clue, but I'm following my instinct, and my instinct says to follow the clearly human-made tunnel and see where it leads. And hopefully it doesn't completely dead-end out. Dang it, okay. I was going to say, does it completely dead end out because it connected to something? It did. I don't know where we are. This seems to be some sort of broken remains. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That thing right there is clearly got to be Isuma's nether hub. Which he has cleverly designed so nobody accidentally digs into it. That's really smart. Unlike this nether hub, which I clearly just dug into. But wait, if we go up these stairs, will that take us inside of Asuma's nether hub? No, because this area is covered up. Dang it. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Is that we will take the tunnel that mirrors the tunnel that we would have taken. Like, I know that if I was in that nether hub, I would have gone down that ice tunnel, and then I would have turned right. So here's a tunnel that goes the same direction, and then presumably also turns right. 
So we are going to try that. Oh, wait, hold on. This might be even better. Two Joe Hills is Red Sky Bay. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Mumbo. Did Mumbo wall this up? I don't remember. Man. This is going to be so fun for you guys when there's a world download and everything is all confusing all the time. I think that this might... Yeah, there it is. Here's my old Red Sky Bay portal, which I think I broke. Or turned off somehow. But you know what? That's okay. I should probably reclaim this... Why didn't I reclaim this obsidian? Probably because I didn't want to mess up the waterfall. But yeah, we can take this ladder and we are home free. Time skip. With blood in our heart and bushes in our inventory, we have returned safely to the Red Sky Bay. You know what? You guys have already watched me knock out a bunch of daisies and a bunch of torches before. So I figure I'm just going to go ahead and take what you see before you and just start kind of accelerating the process. Time skip. And here we are, approximately 45 minutes later. I went ahead and I removed all the yellow flowers from the uh, big quadrant area and uh, put in the mycelium. Now, I decided not to put mushrooms there as part of that plan to make that area bland. And as you can tell, though, if you come over here, this little protected garden area, I haven't done too much with yet. You know, I've ripped out all of the flowers because I was like this one this part is actually supposed to be a garden but the whole area the whole castle like the outside grounds are supposed to be po so poorly kept that I was kind of thinking like maybe the area that was originally a garden should be completely just messed up like we might have wildflowers growing in some of the other areas but rather than having wildflowers having taken root or taken over here like this area should just be pretty barren um, but it should be clear that there was once a garden here. And so I was thinking, like, how would you make it clear that there was once a garden here? And I was thinking maybe maybe something with raised flower beds or something like that. In fact, you know, maybe what I should do is have kind of coarse dirt into here. And, you know, maybe not having raised flower beds per se, but having, having coarse dirt... Kind of coming around here like so. Now, we don't necessarily want to keep that green there. That's going to look weird. But I was thinking maybe something too with cobblestone slabs that kind of ringed these uh, garden areas a bit. Right? And so, having that then, let's see, get the dead bushes out. Kind of plant some of these throughout here. I don't know. Just to kind of give it... See, that might be too regular. Maybe we should take some of those out. Yeah, okay. Maybe has become certainly. We cannot leave all of these in and have this look like it's normal. But kind of just placing a bunch of those and then punching holes in them here. Like, this feels more like a garden. Now, this is also not very big, I'm realizing. So maybe we should take that coarse dirt plan and extend it further out this way. And we'll plant some additional bushes kind of up on here. And just kind of have... Have this feel like this was at some point more intentionally landscaped than it was. See, this area now has something that none of the areas have. It has kind of protected flower beds, which admittedly look pretty terrible. But that's kind of the point. So what we need to do now is another thing I was thinking is that this particular area between these two uh, things here should actually be more of a um, clear-cut, cobbly-type path than... Um, the other areas like there, there should clearly have been rocks here in between these like directly between these two things so we're going to go ahead and establish that this path is more so than some of the other ones so just grab a bunch of coarse dirt and gravel and go nuts time skip 
I have returned with some brown carpet. Perfect for concealing these little torches here while keeping the mobs at bay. You know, the green carpet, it's just not as good. Whoops, uh, dang it. Oh, fiddlesticks. Anyway, what I was about to do was I was also going to throw in maybe some ferns. I'm not sure if the ferns should be in the garden beds or not. Like, because I wanted them to kind of look like weeds. But maybe I was thinking everything in the garden bed should be just entirely dead. But maybe there should be weeds growing up in other parts here. Like along the walls maybe. Or like back in these corners. Like, now I believe if I take some bone meal and apply it to there. Yeah, we get kind of this high fern. Which is distinct from the high grass. And is interesting visually in other ways. So we can kind of mix that up there. Maybe have some of those just kind of generally around here in the places where we had the coarse dirt. Kind of in the same way we planted the mushrooms on the mycelium. Maybe on the coarse dirt I will plant some of these ferns. With the exception of the um, coarse dirt in the middle of the path here. I feel like that should be relatively trodden. Um, but yeah, okay. So some of those I want to grow, some of these I'm going to keep low. Although it's more fun, kind of, just to make them all tall. But anyway. Now this part here is supposed to be more path-like, so I think I'm going to leave some of those unferned. Leave no path unferned, except for this part. Because, like, in theory, people might still be going out this way. Now these outbuildings in the castle design are very loosely explain so I don't really have a good idea of what the exactly are supposed to be like but you know what let's also just kind of get some extra grass around here kind of give it a little bit more pop here throughout okay I, I'm just like and toss some bone meal around I'm having a good time playing Minecraft this might not look like the most amazing accomplishment ever but let's go ahead and see how it compares to you know, let's just go back up here. And let's give it a quick flyover, you know. Let's say that we're coming from this direction. We're munching on our baked potato. We're flying to Mumbo Jumbo's base or something. You know, before we would have seen like a terrible torch grid down here. Now, okay, this is an interesting little... Oh, can we clear that? Yeah, we can. Hey, that's even neater. I wonder what's going on through here. Whoa, cool garden. Yay, and then we fall. This is this is about right. We have gotten all of this where it needs to be. So using the magic of movie magic, I want to real quickly show where we started and how far we got. So here's the before. Here's the middle step. And here we are now. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, yeah, I think that this is just been a great improvement so especially it's a shame that you couldn't really see that little circular area down there I do I do really think that having those kind of nested circles makes this garden here feel once again much more intentionally a garden and you know especially from the air this path is kind of more visible it's uh this this whole castle is designed to be viewed from its own walls so you have to just kind of keep in mind the aerial view for players but anyway, I'm rambling. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.